Hey guys, this is Cindy with SeekOptics.com and today we're going to show you how to replace the lenses on your Oakley fuel cell frames. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is uh, turn your frame around like if you're going to put it on like this. Once you've done that, Go ahead and rotate the frame at a 90 degree angle. It's easier to work this way. And you're going to locate the edges here and here of the frame and you're going to pull out as you push the lens forward to unseat it. I like to use these uh, two fingers here to kind of uh, pull out on the frame as I use my thumbs to push the lens forward to unseat it. So you should be able to do it relatively easy. If uh, you hear a pop, don't be alarmed. It's just the lens unseating itself from the groove of the frame, so it's completely normal. So let's go ahead and do the same thing to the opposite side, here and here. We're going to pull out as we push the lens forward. You should hear that pop. Perfect. So now to install your new Seek Optic lenses, go ahead and turn your frame around. Once you've done that, uh, grab your replacement lens. Today I'm going to be installing my new Revo Ice Blue replacement lenses just to kind of match my, my flannel and the look for the day. Now I have to start off with the top side here. We're going to line that up to the groove of the frame here. So once you've gotten that top section seated, go ahead and push down on the lens and you should hear it pop into place like that. Now let's do the same thing to the other side. Go ahead and uh, line up your lens. And once that lens is lined up, push down to seat it. You should hear that pop. And now you're good to go. Once you've installed your new Seek Optic lenses into your frame, we would love to see how you've customized your look to fit your everyday needs. So go ahead and post a picture to Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram with the hashtag SeekOptics. Don't forget to give this video a like and hit the subscribe button. And of course, if you have any further questions or concerns about the installation, your frames, or the lenses, please feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email to info at SeekOptics. Hey guys, this is Cindy with SeekOptics.com and today we're going to show you how to replace the lenses on your Oakley Frog Skins. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is turn your frame around like if you're going to put them on like this. Once you've done that, I like to rotate uh, the frame at a 90 degree angle, just makes it easier to work with. Now uh, we're going to be pulling out here and here on the frame as we push the lens forward to unseat it. So I like to use these two back fingers to pull it out, so pull out with these two fingers and push the lens forward with your thumbs. So let's give it a shot, perfect. Now you should hear a little popping sound. If you do, do not be alarmed. It's just the uh, lens unseating itself from the groove of the frame, so it's completely normal. And we're going to do the same thing to this side. Locate here and here, and we're going to pull out as we push the lens forward to unseat it. Perfect. So now to install your new Seek Optic lenses, go ahead and turn the frame around like this. Have it facing towards you. Once you've done that, uh, locate the inside grooves of the frame here and here. Now you're going to want to line up your lens to the inside of these grooves. So uh, today I'm going to be installing my Revo Deep Purple lenses just to give my, my frames a little bit more life. And uh, I like to start with the top portion here of the, of the lens. So we're going to start with this top portion. We're going to line it up to the frame. And once that's lined up, we're going to be pushing down to uh, insert it in there like that. Pretty quickly actually. So uh, we're going to do the same thing to this side. Go ahead and locate that groove. And once you've done that, line up your lens. And then we're going to be pushing down to insert it. Sometime, there we go. Now 
Now that the lenses are inserted, I like to take my uh, Seek Optics microfiber cloth and give it a nice little rub down just to uh, get rid of any impurities, any any dust or any uh, fingerprints I might have left on there. And now you're good to go. Once you've installed your new Seek Optic lenses into your frames, we would love to see how you've customized your look to fit your everyday needs. So go ahead and post a picture to Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram with the hashtag Seek Optics. Don't forget to give this video a like and hit the subscribe button for more updates and content. And of course, if you do have any further questions about the installation, your frames, or the lenses, please feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email to info at SeekOptics.com. Hey guys, this is Cindy with SeekOptics.com and today we're going to show you how to swap out the lenses on your Oakley flak drafts. So let's get started. Now when Oakley developed the flak draft, they definitely had lens swapping in mind. Now you see here on the corners at the bottom of the frame, there's actually these trigger systems that releases the lens. So let's go ahead and focus on one trigger system at a time. So we'll start off with this side. Now you notice the trigger has little little ridges here that you can uh, hold on to and you're going to be pressing upward on that trigger system in order for it to release the lens. So let's go ahead and push up on that trigger and then we're just going to slide the lens out. <laughs> like butter, right? Same thing to this side. Locate that trigger system and then we're going to push it in as we just slide the lens out. Now to install your new Seek Optic lenses, you're going to do it very similar to that of the FLAC uh, jacket series and the FLAC 2.0 series. So what we're going to do is we're going to locate the grooves inside the frame. Now inside the frame towards the nose pieces or towards the nose edge, there is a, there's these little hooks on the lens. Now today I'm going to be installing my new Revo Ice Blue lenses uh, just to really make these frames pop. So uh, we're going to start off with this hook first. We're going to insert that into a notch that's located inside the frame here. Okay, so let's go ahead and insert that hook. Line it up to the, to the grooves of the frame. Place it in like that. Now, to get it to completely sit, all you have to do is simply push up on the lens and push down on the frame. And that trigger mechanism is going to lock that lens into place. Let's give it a shot. And you should hear that pop. If you hear that pop, don't be alarmed. Again, it's just the lens uh, seating itself into the groove of the frame and the trigger mechanism locking it into place. So we're going to do the same thing to this side. Locate the inside of the groove uh, where your, your little hook on your lens is going to be inserted to, right? So line it up uh, to the groove of the frame. Insert the hook. And then we're just going to push up on the lens as we push down on the frame. And it locks into place. Now once you've installed your new Seek Optic lenses, go ahead and give them a nice little wipe down with your Seek Optics microfiber cloth. That's just to uh, get rid of any residue, fingerprints, or what have you that might have stayed on the, on the lenses during your installation. Beautiful. And now you're good to go. Once you've installed your new Seek Optic lenses into your frames, we would love to see how you customize your look to fit your everyday needs. So go ahead and post a picture to Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram with the hashtag Seek Optics. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more updates and content. And of course, if you do have any further questions about the installation, your frames, or the lenses, please feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email to info at SeekOptics.com. Hey guys, this is Cindy with SeekOptics.com and today we're going to show you how to replace the lenses on your Oakley 5 squared.
So let's get started. The first step you want to do is go ahead and turn your frame around, like if you're going to put it on like this. Once you've done that, I like to rotate my frame at a 90 degree angle. just makes it easier to work this way. And uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be pulling out on these sections here and here of the frame. We're going to be pulling outward with these, two th with these two fingers as we push with our thumbs forward. So again, we're going to be pulling out as we push forward. Let's give it a shot. Perfect. Now you should hear that pop. If you do hear that pop, do not be alarmed. It's just the lens unseating itself from the grooves of the frame, so it's completely normal. We're going to do the same thing to this side. Go ahead and locate sections here and here, and we're going to pull out on the frame as we push the lens forward to unseat it. Let's give it another shot. Perfect. So now to install your new Seek Optic lenses, go ahead and turn the frames towards you. Once you've done that, locate the inside grooves of the frame itself here on both sides. Now we're going to be lining up our lens to these grooves. And today I'm going to be installing my new Seek Optics bronze brown uh, replacement lenses. So let's go ahead and uh, insert the, the lens from here, from the corner and the top edge, into the groove of the frame. Now once we've done that, once we've lined up our lens, we're going to push the lens forward or inward to get it seated. And you should hear that pop. Run your fingers along the edges of the lens just to make sure that it's seated in there correctly. And now we're going to do the same thing to this side. Locate the inside groove and the edge of the frame. Now we're going to line up our lens. And then we're going to push in as soon as we get that lens lined up. I'm going to push in to seat it. Perfect. Run your thumbs along the edge of the lens just to make sure it's locked in. And once that's done, go ahead and take your Seek Optics microfiber cloth and give it a nice little wipe down just to make sure we get rid of any oil or impurities that might have been left behind after the installation. And now we're good to go. Once you've installed your new Seek Optic lenses, we would love to see how you've customized your look to fit your everyday needs. So go ahead and post a picture to Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram with the hashtag Seek Optics. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more updates and content. And of course, if you do have any further questions about the installation, your frames, or the lenses, please feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email to info. Hey guys, this is Cindy with SeekOptics.com and today we're going to show you how to replace the lenses on your Oakley Speed Jacket. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your frames are facing towards you like so. Uh, once you've done that, Go ahead and locate the trigger mechanisms here and here on the bottom edges of the frame. Now once you've done that, let's start with one side first. So we're going to be pushing inward or sliding the mechanism uh, towards the end of the frame to unhook these lenses. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. We're just going to push up or slide towards the end of the frame to uh, release this lens and the lens should slide right out. Once you've done that, do the same thing to the opposite end. Go ahead and locate that trigger mechanism here. Slide it in or towards the end of the frame and just slide the lens out. Perfect. So now to install your new Seek Optic lenses, uh, we're going to locate the grooves inside the frame here. And we're going to start off with the inner groove first, the one closest to the bridge of the nose. Now today I'm going to be installing my Seek Optics Revo Fire Red replacement lenses. Just to give my, my frames a little bit more of a, of a oomph to it, a little bit more life. 
So we're going to start off with this hook first. We're going to line it up to the groove of the frame here. Now inside this groove, right, al right at the edge of the nose piece here, uh, there is a notch that this hook will latch onto. So line up the, the hook to the groove of the frame, insert it into that notch, and as you do that, we're going to line up the end here with the groove of the frame here. Now all we got to do to insert it is just simply push up. And it locks right into place. Let me tell you, when uh, Oakley developed the speed jacket, they definitely had uh, lens exchanges in mind. So let's go ahead and do the same thing to this side. Locate the groove and the notch on this corner here, closest to the, the nose bridge. Now we're going to insert our hook into the groove of the frame. And then slide it into that notch. Now, we're going to be pushing up on the lens and down on the frame just to get it seated and you should hear that locking mechanism pop perfect now once you've installed your seek optic lenses go ahead and give them a nice little wipe down with this microfiber cloth here so let's go ahead and give it a nice little wipe down just to make sure that we're getting rid of any residue or any oils that might have been left uh, during the installation and do the same thing to this side. And now you're good to go. Once you've installed your new Seek Optic lenses into your frames, we would love to see how you've customized your look to fit your everyday needs. So go ahead and post a picture to Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram with the hashtag Seek Optics. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more updates and content. And of course, if you do have any further questions or concerns about the installation, your frames or the lenses, please feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email to info at Hey guys, this is Cindy with SeekOptics.com and today we're going to show you how to replace the lenses on your Oakley Double Edge. So let's get started. First thing you want to do is turn your frame around, like if you're going to put it on like this. Once you've done that, go ahead and rotate the frame at a 90 degree angle. It just makes it easier to work this way. Now we're going to locate sections here and here of the frame, and we're going to be pulling out as we push the lens forward to unseat it. So use these two fingers here to pull out on the frame, and use your thumbs to push the lens forward. Now if you're doing this right, you should hear a pop like that. Now, if you do hear that pop, do not be alarmed. It is completely normal. It's just the lens unseating itself from the grooves of the frame. So let's go ahead and give this side a shot. Locate sections here and here. Pull out with your fingers as you push the lens forward with your thumbs. Give it a shot. Perfect. And now to install your new Seek Optic lenses, Go ahead and turn the frame around, like this. Have it face it towards you. Once you've done that, go ahead and locate the inside grooves of the frames here. Now, I like to start with the top edge groove here. So go ahead and uh, grab your lens. And today, I'm going to be installing my new Seek Optics uh, Black Iridium lenses. Now, these lenses are awesome. They have like, exceptional clarity. And the Iridium in them actually... Uh, it actually provides for better contrast. So you need something with good contrast and it's still a dark lens, I would definitely go with the Iridium. And they have a silver finish to it, which looks pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and insert one side in first, like so. Once you've done that, all you gotta do is push down on the lens to get it to seat in. Like that. You should hear that pop. And once you do, go ahead and run your thumbs along the edges of the frame just to make sure that it's locked in there correctly. Now we're going to do the same thing to this side. Go ahead and locate the inside groove of the frame here. Now we're going to line up our lens. And then we're going to be pushing down to seat it. Okay? Perfect. Now run your thumbs along the edges of the lens just to make sure it's locked in. And once you've done that, go ahead and uh, take your, 
your Seek Optic pouch that actually serves as a microfiber cloth as well. So you can go ahead and give your lenses a nice good little clean wipe down. And it'll remove any dirt or debris that you might have left behind uh, during the installation. And now you're good to go. Now once you've installed your new Seek Optic lenses into your frames, we would love to see how you've customized your look to fit your everyday needs. So go ahead and post a picture to Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram with the hashtag Seek Optics. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And of course, if you do have any further questions or concerns about the installation, your frames, or the lenses, please feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email to info at SeekOptics.com. Hey guys, this is Cindy with SeekOptics.com and today we're going to show you how to replace the lenses on your Oakley Enduros. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is turn the frame around, like if you're going to put it on, like this. Once you've done that, I like to rotate the frame at a 90 degree angle, just makes it easier to work with. Now let's locate sections here and here of the frame, and we're going to be pulling out on these sections as we push the lens forward to unseat it. So use these two fingers to pull out on the frame as you push the lens forward with your thumb. Let's give it a shot. Perfect. Now you should hear a little popping sound when, when you unseat the lens. Do not worry, completely normal. Again, it's just the lens unseating itself from the grooves of the frame. So now we're going to do the same thing to this side, locate sections here and here of the frame, pull out and push forward with your thumb. Let's give it a shot. Perfect. And now to install your new Seek Optic lenses, go ahead and turn your frame around. like like so, have it facing towards you. Now once you do that, locate the inside grooves of the frame. Now for the Enduro, I like to line up my lens to the bottom groove first, just makes it easier to seat the lens in. And today, I'm going to be installing my new Seek Optics Revo Fire Red lenses. Pretty awesome, right? Alrighty, so let's go ahead and locate the bottom edge of the lens here, and we're going to locate to the bottom groove. We're going to, we're going to line up here. And now, once you have that lined up, all you got to do is push down or inward to get it seated. Give it a shot. And you should hear that pop. Now, when you hear that pop, again, do not be alarmed. It's just the lens seating itself to the grooves of the frame. And now, this section here, do the same thing. Locate the bottom groove here. Line up your lens and push down to seat it in. Perfect. Now once you've done that, you can actually go ahead and take your microfiber pouch. It serves as a cleaning cloth. So uh, go ahead and give the lenses a nice little wipe down just to make sure that you're getting rid of any impurities, any oils, or anything that might have stayed behind uh, during the installation. On the other side. And now you're good to go. Of course, once you've installed your new Seek Optic lenses into your frames, we would love to see how you've customized your look to fit your everyday needs. So go ahead and post a picture to Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram with the hashtag Seek Optics. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more updates and content. And of course, if you do have any further questions or concerns about the installation, your frames, or the lenses, Please feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email to info at seekoptics.com. Hey guys, this is Cindy with seekoptics.com and today we're going to show you how to replace the lenses 
on your Oakley Dispatch 1. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is turn your frame around like if you're going to put it on, like this. Once you've done that, I like to rotate my frame at a 90 degree angle. It just makes it easier to work this way. And we're going to be pulling out on these sections here of the frame. We're going to be pulling out as we push the lens forward to unseat it. So use these two fingers to pull out the frame as you use your thumbs to unseat the lens forward. Let's give it a shot. Perfect. Now, it, you should hear a pop when removing the lens. If you do, do not be alarmed. It's completely normal. It's just the lens unseating itself from the grooves of the frame. And we're going to do the same thing to this side. Go ahead and rotate the frame. Locate sections here and here, and we're going to be pulling out on the frame as we push the lens forward to unseat it. Perfect. Now once you've done that, go ahead and turn your frame around to install your new Seek Optic lenses. The first thing you want to do is locate the grooves inside of the frame. And we're going to line up our lenses to those grooves. Now today I'm going to be installing my new Revo Emerald Green lenses. So I like to line up this section of the lens here, the top and the corner section, to the inside grooves of the top and corner section of the frame here. So go ahead and line up your lens. And once that's done, we're just going to be pushing down to seat it. So go ahead and push down, and you should hear that pop. Run your thumbs along the edges of the, of the lens just to make sure that it's locked in there correctly. And we're going to do the same thing to this side. Go ahead and locate the top and edge group, uh, line up your lens, and then push the lens down to seat it into place. And you should hear that pop. Once you do that, go ahead and take your Seek Optics microfiber cloth, give it a nice little wipe down, just to remove any uh, dirt or debris that might have been left on during the installation. And now you're good to go. Once you've installed your new Seek Optic lenses into your frames, we would love to see how you've customized your look to fit your everyday needs. So go ahead and post a picture to Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram with the hashtag Seek Optics. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And of course, if you do have any further questions or concerns about the installation, your frames, or the lenses, please feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email to info at SeekOptics.com. Hey guys, this is Cindy with SeekOptics.com and today we're going to show you how to replace the lenses on your Oakley 2014 canteens. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is turn your frame around like if you're going to put it on like this. Once you've done that, I like to rotate my frame at a 90 degree angle. It just makes it easier to work this way. Now we're going to locate sections here and here of your frame. We're going to pull out on these sections with these two fingers as we push the lens forward to unseat it. Again, use these two fingers to pull out on these sections of the frame as we push the lens forward with our thumbs. Let's give it a shot. Perfect. Now you should hear a popping sound whenever you are installing lenses. If you do, do not be alarmed. It's completely normal. It's just the lens unseating itself from the grooves of the frame. And we're going to do the same thing to this side. Locate sections here and here. And we're going to pull out on these sections with these two fingers as we push the lens forward to unseat it. Perfect. So now to install your new Seek Optic lenses, go ahead and turn your frames around like this. Have them facing towards you. Once you've done that, locate the inside grooves of the frames here. And that's what we're going to be lining up our lenses to. Now today I'm going to be installing my new Revo uh, Deep Purple lenses just to kind of give my my uh, frames a little bit more life. So we're going to start off by lining up this top portion of the lens here and this corner to the inside groove of the frame here. Now once you've done that, all you got to do is push in or down to seat the lens and you should hear that pop like that. 
Let's do the same thing to this side. Go ahead and uh, locate the inside groove of the frame. Line up your lens and then push down or in to get it seated. Like that. And once you've done that, go ahead and take your Seek Optics microfiber pouch and uh, give it a nice little wipe down. We're going to remove any excess residue that might have been left over during the installation, any oils, dust, dirt, uh, anything like that off the lenses. And now you're good to go. Once you've installed your new Seek Optic lenses into your frames, we would love to see how you've customized your look to fit your everyday needs. So go ahead and post a picture to Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram with the hashtag Seek Optics. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more updates and content. And of course, if you do have any further questions or concerns about the installation, your frames, or the lenses, please feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email to info at Seek Hey guys, this is Cindy with SeekOptics.com and today we're going to show you how to replace the lenses on your Oakley split jacket frames. So let's get started. You're first going to want to turn your frames around, like if you're going to put them on. And once you've done that, go ahead and locate the nose pieces here and here. And these nose pieces actually flip up to unlatch the bottom section of the frame here. So we're going to start one nose piece at a time, pull up to unlatch it, and then just swing the bottom section of your frame out, slide the lens out, and you're good. Let's try the other side. Locate your nose piece here, pull up on that nose piece and then we're just going to slide the bottom section of the frame out so now to install your new Seek Optic lenses into your frames you're going to want to locate the grooves here of the frames and that's what we're going to be lining up our lenses to now today I'm going to be installing my new Revo Ice Blue Seek Optics Vented Split Jacket Lenses. So we're going to start off um, with the uh, inside grooves of the frame here. We're going to line up our lens, insert the lens into those grooves, then we're going to push up. Once you've done that, go ahead and swing the arm or the bottom portion of the frame back in and push down on your nose piece to get it to seat in or to lock into place. I do the same thing to this side. Go ahead and locate the inside grooves of the frame here and here. We are going to line up our lens to those grooves. Push in or down. And then we're going to close up that uh, bottom section of the frame like so. Once you've done that, go ahead and push down on the nose piece to get it to lock into place. Once you've done that, go ahead and take your Seek Optics microfiber pouch. Give it a nice little wipe down just to take off any impurities that might have been left behind during the installation. And now you're good to go. Once you've installed your new Seek Optic lenses into your frames, we would love to see how you've customized your look to fit your everyday needs. So go ahead and post a picture to Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram with the hashtag Seek Optics. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more updates and content. And of course, if you do have any further questions or concerns about the installation of the lenses or your frames, please feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email to info at SeekOptics.com. Hey guys, this is Cindy with SeekOptics.com and today we're going to show you how to replace the lenses on your Oakley Bat Wolf frames. So let's get started. 
Because the Batwolf is a singular lens, uh, we're actually going to be working on it in sections. So go ahead and turn your frame around, like if you're going to put it on. Once you've done that, I like to rotate my frame at a 90 degree angle. It just makes it easier to work this way. And we're going to actually locate sections here and here of the frame, and we're going to pull out on these sections with these two fingers as we push the lens forward with our thumbs to unseat it. So let's give it a shot. Perfect. You should hear a popping sound like that. If you do, do not be alarmed. It's just the lens unseating itself from the groove of the frame. We're going to do the same thing to this side. Go ahead and locate sections here and here. Pull out on these sections as you push the lens forward to unseat it. Perfect. Now the only thing that's holding this lens in place is the nose piece. So go ahead and push the lens forward with your thumbs and it should pop right out. Perfect. So now to install your new Seek Optic lenses, go ahead and turn your frame around. And uh, we're actually going to be starting off with the nose piece here. We're going to line up our lens to the top portion of the frame here to this groove. Now today I'm going to be installing uh, my Revo Deep Purple Seek Optic replacement lenses. We're going to start off by lining up the top section here of the lens to the top groove of the frame. So let's go ahead and do that. And once you have that lined up, we're simply going to push down or in to get it to seat in. And now that that's done, so go ahead and push down on this section of the frame here on the side to get it to pop into place. Once you've done that, run your thumbs along the edges of the frame and the lens just to make sure it's locked in. And we're going to work our way up till you hear that pop. So once you've done that, uh, go ahead and give your lenses a wipe down with your Seek Optics microfiber pouch. Now this will remove any um, impurities that might have been left behind during the installation, any oils, any dust that uh, might have been left. Again, wipe it down. And now you're good to go. Once you've installed your new Seek Optic lenses into your frames, we would love to see how you customize your look to fit your everyday needs. So go ahead and post a picture to Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram with the hashtag Seek Optics. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more updates and content. And of course, if you do have any further questions or concerns about the installation, uh, your frames or the lenses, please feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email to Hey guys, this is Cindy with SeekOptics.com. And today we're going to show you how to replace the lenses on your Oakley Big tacos. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is turn your frame around, like if you're going to put it on. Once you've done that, I like to rotate my frame at a 90 degree angle. It just makes it easier to work this way. Then we're going to locate sections here and here of your frame. And we're going to pull out on these sections with these two fingers as we push the lens forward with our thumbs to unseat it. Let's give it a shot. And you should hear a popping sound like that. If you do, do not be alarmed. It's just the lens unseating itself from the grooves of the frame. And we're going to do the same thing to this side. Locate sections here and here of your frame. And we're going to be pulling out with these two fingers as we push the lens forward with our thumb to unseat it. Let's give it another shot. Perfect. So now to install your new Seek Optic lenses, Go ahead and turn your frame around. Once you've done that, locate the inside grooves of the frame. And that's what we're going to be lining up our lens to. Now today I'm going to be installing my Revo Seek Optics blue lenses. And now we're going to be lining up this top section of the lens here. Now we're going to line up to this groove. So go ahead and line up the lens. And once you've done that, we're simply going to push down or in to insert the lens. Let's give it a shot and you should hear a popping sound like that. Once you've done that, go ahead and do the same thing to this side. Line up your lens to the top groove here and then push down or inward to get it to seat. And you should hear that pop. Now 
Now once you've done that, go ahead and take your Seek Optics microfiber pouch and give it a nice little wipe down to it. Remove any debris or any oils that might have been left behind during the installation. And now you're good to go. Once you've installed your new Seek Optic lenses into your frames, we would love to see how you've customized your look to fit your everyday needs. So go ahead and post a picture to Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram with the hashtag Seek Optics. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more updates and content. And of course, if you do have any further questions or concerns uh, about the installation, your frames, or the lenses, please feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email to info at Seek Optics. Hey guys, this is Cindy with SeekOptics.com and today we're going to show you how to replace the lenses on your Oakley bottle cap frames. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is uh, place one thumb underneath of the bridge of the nose here. Now we're going to be pushing up on the bridge of the nose with, with this thumb as we pull down on the frame with your opposite pointing finger and as we pull down on the frame we're going to slide the lens out with our opposite thumb. It's almost like if you're cracking an egg. So we're going to push up here, pull down on this section of the frame as we slide the lens out. Let's give it a shot. Perfect. Now we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Uh, we're going to push up on the bridge of the nose as we pull down on the frame with our opposite pointing finger and slide the lens out with our opposite thumb. Perfect. Now once you've done that, go ahead and locate the inside grooves of the frame here. Now towards the edges of the frame, around these corners, there's notches and that's what we're going to be lining up our lens to. Now today I'm going to be installing my new Revo Emerald Green lenses. And if you notice on the lenses, there's these little hooks. That's what we're going to be inserting into these notches here. So we're going to start off with the outside hook first. We're going to line it up to that groove, slide it through the groove into that notch of the frame in the corner here. Once you've done that, line up the opposite end to the groove of the frame here. Now, all you got to do is push up on the lens with your thumbs as you pull down on the frame with your pointing fingers to get it to lock in. And now uh, you should hear a pop when you do this, like that. Let's do the same thing to this side. Locate the inside groove of your frame. Line up the outside uh, hook first. Slide it through into that notch. Then we're going to line up the lens to the inside groove here of the nose piece. Now we're just going to push up on the lens as we pull down on the frame to get it to seat in like that. Now once you've done that, go ahead and take your Seek Optics microfiber pouch and give it a nice little wipe down. Uh, these serve as a cleaning cloth and it'll remove any debris or any oils that might have stayed behind during the installation. And now you're good to go. Once you've installed your new Seek Optic lenses into your frames, we would love to see how you've customized your look and the functionality of your frames to fit your everyday needs. So please go ahead and post a picture to Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram with the hashtag Seek Optics. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more updates and content. And of course, if you do have any further questions or concerns about the frames, your lenses, or just the installation, please feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email to info at seekoptics.com. Hey guys, this is Cindy with seekoptics.com. And today we're going to show you how to replace the lenses on your Oakley bottle rocket frames. So let's get started. 
the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and put your thumb underneath the bridge of the nose here. We're going to put one thumb here and we're going to be pushing up on the bridge of the nose as we pull down on the frame. Almost like if you're cracking an egg. Let's give it a shot and it should pop right out. We're going to do the same thing to this side. Go ahead and place one thumb underneath the bridge of the nose here and we're going to be pushing up on this thumb as we pull down with our pointing finger on the frame here. Like that. And now to install your new Seek Optic lenses, go ahead and locate the grooves of the frame here. Now we're going to be lining up our lenses to these grooves and here in the corners of uh, this frame there's actually notches. Now if you look at your lenses there are these hooks on each side of the, of the lens. Now the outside hook is the bigger hook and it's going gonna, it's gonna to go into the groove of the frame where it's going to lock into that notch in here. So let's go ahead and insert the, uh, the hook of the lens into the groove of the frame, slide it through until it's inside that notch. And we're going to line up this portion of the lens, this hook, to the groove of the frame closest to the nose bridge. So once we've done that, all you got to do is push up on the lens as you pull down on the frame to get it to seat in. Like that. And you should hear a popping sound. We're going to do the same thing to this side. Go ahead and locate that bigger hook. And we're going to slide it into the groove of the frame and insert it into that notch in the corner here of the frame. And once you've done that, go ahead and line up the opposite end to the groove of the frame here. And then we're going to push up on the lens as we pull down on the frame to get it to seat in. Perfect. Now once you've done that, go ahead and take your Seek Optics microfiber pouch and give it a nice little wipe down. This will remove any uh, debris, any oils uh, that might have stayed behind during the installation. And now you're good to go. Once you've installed your new Seek Optic lenses into your frames, we would love to see how you've customized the look and functionality to fit your everyday needs. So go ahead and post a picture to Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram with the hashtag SeekOptics. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more updates and content. And of course, if you do have any further questions or concerns about the, the frames, the, the installation, or your lenses, please feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email to info at SeekOptics.com. Hey guys, this is Cindy with SeekOptics.com and today we're going to show you how to replace the lenses on your Oakley Blender frames. Now, to perform this lens swap, you are going to need a small Phillips head screwdriver and of course I always recommend that you work on a bright surface. It, uh, you are going to be loosening up some screws, so it will make it easier for you to find them if, if one falls out. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is uh, flip your frame upside down like this. Once you've done that, locate the screws on each side closest to the lenses, here and here. We're going to be loosening up these screws one at a time. I like to give it a couple of turns to the left to get it unseated. Remember, lefty-loosey, righty-tighty. And now uh, once you're done that, the lens should pop out relatively easy. So let's go ahead and install our new lens before we move on to the next. And um, remember, the, the, more, the, the smaller side here, it's actually going to be going towards the outer edge of the frame, if you're a little confused as to what side is what. So once you've done, once you've located the side that you need an insert, go ahead and locate the grooves inside of the frame. That's what we're going to be lining up our lens to, those grooves. So go ahead and place it within those grooves. And then we're going to push in on the screw to get it to seat into the little hole in there. Once you've done that, go ahead and, and uh, tighten up your, your, your little, little screw there. You 
You don't want to do it too tight because you don't want to strip the screws, but you want to make sure it's nice and flushed in there. See? Perfect. And we're going to do the same thing to this side. Go ahead and uh, locate that screw and loosen it up. Remove your lens. And now take your new replacement lens, go ahead and line it up to the grooves of the frame. Make sure the lens is nice and inserted into those grooves. And then we're going to push down here on this screw to make sure that it's lined up into the little hole of the frame. Now we're just going to tighten it up. And make sure it's nice and flushed. Again, don't tighten up too tight because you don't want to strip those screws. Now that you installed your new Seek Optic lenses, go ahead and take your Seek Optics microfiber pouch and give the lenses a nice little wipe down, just to remove any debris or oils that might have been left behind during the installation. And now you're good to go. Once you've installed your new Seek Optic lenses into your frames, we would love to see how you customize your look and functionality of your frames to fit your everyday needs. So go ahead and post a picture to Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram with the hashtag SeekOptics. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more updates and content. And of course, if you do have any further questions or concerns about the installation, your frames, or the lenses, please feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email to info at SeekOptics.com. Hey guys, this is Cindy with SeekOptics.com and today we're going to show you how to replace the lenses on your Oakley Catalyst frames. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is turn your frame around like this, like if you're going to put it on. Now once you've done that, I like to rotate my frame at a 90 degree angle. It just makes it easier to work this way. Now we're going to locate sections here and here of your frame and we're going to pull out on these sections of the frame as we push the lens forward with our thumb. So pull out with these two fingers as you push the lens forward to unseat it. And you should hear a popping sound. If you do hear a popping sound, do not be alarmed. It's completely normal. It's just the lens unseating itself from the grooves of the frame. We're going to do the same thing to this side. Go ahead and locate sections here and here. Pull out on these sections with these two fingers as you push the lens forward with your thumb. All right. So now to install your new Seek Optic lenses, go ahead and turn your frame around. Have it facing towards you. Once you've done that, locate the inside grooves of the frame. That's what we're going to be lining up our lenses to. Now, today, I'm going to be installing my new Revo Ice Blue replacement lenses. And we're going to line up the top section here of the lens to the top groove of the frame here. Now, once you get that lined up, all you got to do is push down or in to get it to seat. And you should hear a popping sound again. We're going to do the same thing to this side. Go ahead and locate the top groove. Line up the top portion of your lens. And then push in or down to get it to seat in. Once you've done that, go ahead and take your Seek Optics microfiber pouch. Give it a nice little wipe down and remove any debris that might have been left during the installation, any oils or dust that might have been left behind. And now you're good to go. Once you've installed your new Seek Optic lenses into your frames, we would love to see how you customize the look and functionality of your frames to fit your everyday needs. So go ahead and post a picture to Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram with the hashtag SeekOptics. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more updates and content. And of course, 
If you do have any further questions or concerns about the installation, your frames or the lenses, please feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email. Hey guys, this is Cindy with SeekOptics.com and today we're going to show you how to replace the lenses on your Oakley 2012 crosshairs. Now to get this process started, you are going to need a small Phillips head screwdriver and I always recommend that you work on a bright surface. Uh, you are going to be loosening up some screws so just in case one pops out, they're a lot easier to find this way. Now let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is turn your frame upside down. Locate the screws here and here closest to the lenses. That's what you're going to be loosening up. Now you just want to loosen up. You don't want to completely remove them. It makes it a little bit harder to put the lens back in and get everything going. So let's start with one at a time. And we're going to give a couple of turns to the left. Remember, lefty loosey, righty tighty. And just enough to uh, be able to pop that lens out. And if you do hear a little popping sound when you're removing the lens, don't be alarmed. It's completely normal. It's just the lens unseating itself from the grooves of the frame. And we're going to do the same thing to this side. Go ahead and locate that screw closest to the lens. And we are going to loosen it up just enough to get it to remove the lens. Alright. So now to install your new Seek Optic lenses, you're going to line them up to these grooves here. Then you're going to push in or downward to get it to see. So let's start with one lens at a time. Go ahead and line up that lens and push it in. And you should hear a little popping sound when you do. There we go. Now that's nice and seated, go ahead and tighten that screw back up. Make sure that it is flushed with the frame. Don't tighten up too tight. Uh, you don't want to strip the screw. So just a couple of turns. We're going to do the same thing to this side. Go ahead and line up the lens and push in or down to get it to see. There we go. Now that that's nice and uh, locked in, go ahead and tighten up that screw. And now go ahead and take your Seek Optics microfiber pouch. Give it a nice little wipe down. Remove any uh, dirt or debris, oils that might have been left behind during the installation. And now you're good to go. Once you've installed your new Seek Optic lenses into your frames, we would love to see how you've customized the look and functionality of your frames to fit your everyday needs. So go ahead and post a picture to Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram with the hashtag SeekOptics. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more updates and content. And of course, if you do have any further questions or concerns about the installation, the lenses, or your frames, please feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email. Hey guys, this is Cindy with SeekOptics.com and today we're going to show you how to replace the lenses on your Oakley Badman frames. Now to replace the lenses on your frame, you are going to need a T6 screwdriver and I always recommend to do it on a bright surface. Um, you are going to be loosening up some screws, so just in case uh, one pops out or anything like that, it, it'll be a lot easier for you to find. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is locate the screws here and here on the frame. Now we're going to do this one at a time, and um, we're going to give it about four and a half turns uh, to the left to get it to loosen up. So let's give it a shot. One, two three, four, and a half. As you can see here, it already did loosen up pretty well. Um, 
it's kind of coming apart here but not completely and we don't want to completely take out the screw uh, it's going to be a little more difficult to put the frame back together if you do it that way so do the uh, four and a half turns and you should be good now to remove the lens you're going to want to push the lens forward with your thumbs to get it to unseat you should hear a popping sound when you do that if you do do not be alarmed it's completely normal it's just the lens unseating itself from the grooves of the frame here and we're going to do the same thing to this side Go ahead and give it that uh, four and a half turns to get into unseat. One, two, three, four, and a half. Once you've done that, go ahead and push the lens forward to unseat it. You should hear that pop. Now to install your new Seek Optic lenses, go ahead and turn your frame around. Now once you've done that, locate the inside grooves of the frame here and here. And we're going to be lining up our lenses to those grooves. Now today, I'm going to be installing my new Revo Fire Red replacement lenses. So we're going to line up this top section here of the lens to the top groove here. Now once you have that lined up, all you got to do is push down or in to get it to seat. You should hear that pop. And we're going to tighten up that same screw. Do your four and a half turns to the right. One, two, three, four, and a half. Perfect. We're going to do the same thing to this side. Go ahead and line up the top portion of your lens to the top groove. And then push down or in to get it to seat. Once you've done that, go ahead and uh, tighten up that screw. And now that your new lenses are in, go ahead and take your Seek Optics microfiber pouch and give it a nice little wipe down. Serves as a cleaning cloth, so it'll help remove any uh, any oils that might have been left um, on the lenses or dust or debris. And now you're good to go. Once you've installed your new Seek Optic lenses into your frames, we would love to see how you customize your look to fit your everyday needs. So go ahead and post a picture to Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram with the hashtag Seek Optics. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more updates and content. And of course, if you do have any further questions or concerns about the installation, your frames, or the lenses, please feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email to info at seekoptics.com. Hey guys, this is Cindy with seekoptics.com. And today we're going to show you how to replace the lenses on your Oakley eye patch. Now let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is turn your frame around like if you're going to put it on, like this. Once you've done that, I like to rotate my frame at a 90 degree angle. It just makes it easier to work this way. Then we're going to locate sections here and here of your frame. We're going to be pulling out on these sections with these two fingers as we push the lens forward with our thumbs to unseat it. So let's give it a shot. All right. Now, when removing the lens, if you do hear a pop, don't be alarmed. It's completely normal. It's just the lens unseating itself from the grooves of the frame. We're going to do the same thing to this side. Locate sections here and here. Pull out on these sections with these two fingers as you push the lens forward with your thumb to unseat it. All right. So now to install your new Seek Optic lenses, go ahead and turn your frame around. Have it facing towards you. Once you've done that, locate the inside grooves of the frame. That's what we're going to be lining up our lenses to. Now today, I'm going to be installing my new Revo Emerald Green lenses. 
And we're going to start off by lining up the top portion of the lens here to the top portion of the frame here. Now once you've got it lined up and inserted into that groove, you're going to push down on this side here, on the opposite side that's still popping up, to get it to lock in. And you should hear a popping sound when doing this. So go ahead and give it a nice little push. So you hear that pop. We're going to do the same thing to this side. Locate the inside groove. Line up your lens to that groove. And then push in or down to get it to seat. So now that you've installed your new Seek Optic lenses, go ahead and give them a nice little wipe down. You know, make sure you remove any debris or oils that might have been left behind during the installation. And now you're good to go. Now that you've installed your new Seek Optic lenses into your frames, we would love to see how you've customized the look and functionality of your frames to fit your everyday needs. So go ahead and post a picture to Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram with the hashtag Seek Optics. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more updates and content. And of course, if you do have any further questions or concerns about the installation, your frames or the lenses, please feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email to info at seekoptics.com. Hey guys, this is Cindy with seekoptics.com and today we're going to show you how to replace the lenses on your Oakley half jacket frames. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is uh, put one thumb underneath the bridge of the nose here. And we're actually going to be pulling up on the bridge of the nose as we pull down on the frame to unseat the lens. So we're going to pull up on the bridge of the nose as we pull it down with this finger right about here on the frame to get the lens to unseat. Almost like if you're cracking an egg. Like that. Now we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Go ahead and put your thumb underneath the bridge of the nose. Push up as you pull down on the frame to unseat it. And the lens should pop out. And now to install your new Seek Optic lenses, go ahead and locate the grooves of the frame here. Now inside each edge of the frame here and here, there's actually these little notches that the lens will hook up to. And we're going to start off with one side first. And um, the, the, you're going to want to start off with the outer hook first, the larger hook. And insert it into the notch in the corner here. So you're going to slide it through the groove of the frame, insert it into that notch, and then line it up to the groove of the frame towards the nose piece. Once you've done that, all you got to do is push up on the lens as you pull down on the frame to get it to lock into place. Like that. You should hear a popping sound when you do that. Now we're going to do the same thing to this side. Go ahead and um, line up the, the bigger hook to the groove of the frame and then we're going to slide it in. And as you slide it in, line up the opposite end to the groove of the frame around the nose piece. And then we're just going to push up on the lens as we pull down on the frame. Until you hear that pop. Once you've done that, Go ahead and take your Seek Optics microfiber pouch. Once you've done that, go ahead and take your Seek Optics microfiber pouch and give it a nice little wipe down. You know, this will help remove any debris or any um, impurities that might have been left behind during the installation. There we go. And now you're good to go. Once you've installed your new Seek Optic lenses into your frames, we would love to see how you've customized the look and functionality of your frames to fit your everyday need. So whether it's a new set of replacement lenses offered in a variety of colors, or of course rubber pieces that are highly compatible to Oakley's and Obtanium, go ahead and post a picture to Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram with the hashtag Seek Optics. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more updates and content. And of course, if you do have any further questions or concerns about the installation, the lenses, or your frames, please feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email to info at seekoptics.com.